Quite a bit has changed over the last month, all of it related to the virus. So we are now obviously dealing with a much more serious situation than we thought a month ago. Markets have reacted very, very negatively to worries about where this is headed. It's leading uh, economists, including us, to lower our forecasts for Canada, for the world, for the US. So it now appears to be uh, pretty clear that both the Bank of Canada and the Fed will be cutting interest rates reasonably shortly. Hopefully, as a result of central bank actions, as a result of some greater certainty as we get a little bit more accustomed to the virus and what it means and how we're going to deal with it, uh, we will end up in a better situation in the second part of the year. But for now, indicators for the first part of the year, whether that's in Canada, the US, or elsewhere in the world, are going to look pretty grim. But our assessment at this point in time is that no, we will not be heading for a global recession. Policymakers are going to act to protect the global economy from the possibility of recession. And then we are at the moment of peak uncertainty in some sense. So it's normal for people to worry because uh, we don't have clarity yet on how this is going to get resolved, whether or not medications are going to be available, how it's going to transmit from one country to the next. There'll be much more clarity on that in the weeks to come. And as a result of that clarity, I think folks will become much more comfortable with uh, the potential possibilities of weakness associated with uh, with the virus. I'm Jean-François Perrault, Chief Economist at Scotiabank, and that was a 90-second look ahead.